Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for the love of hair. Notice something different today? <laughs> so I'll give you guys a look so you can see the length. So yeah, I straightened my hair. Actually, I didn't straighten it. I go to a salon to get it straightened because I always just get a trim when I straighten my hair. I prefer to get my hair trimmed when my hair is straight because I normally wear my hair in a stretched out style. So I just think it looks better when I do that. I can do a separate video showing you guys how to straighten your hair if you want to do that. But for me, I lately I've just been straightening it when I go to the salon to get it trimmed. So just quickly, whenever I do wear my hair straight, um, when I was younger and I had a perm, I used to wrap it. For those of you who don't know, don't know what that is, it's literally taking the hair and wrapping it around your head and then putting a um, mushra on and then going to sleep. Do you guys remember what mushra is? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. You'll have to go to the other video to find out what that means. Now, I actually don't wrap my hair anymore when I have it straight because I felt like um, it was just applying too much tension on my edges regardless if I reverse the way that I wrapped it each night. So now uh, I'll put my hair back, I'll put it in a loose scrunchie, and then I'll take my silk or satin mushwa and I'll wrap it around my head. I just wrap it like this. And then I'll go to sleep like that. I'll take out the ponytail and have it loosely like that. I'll wear it straight like this for a few days. And then when it starts getting oily, I'll do something to liven it up. I put some curls in it. I can do a separate video on that to show you guys how I um, bring it back to life. Yeah, but that's it for my straight hair upkeep. Today, I am going to share with you guys how I grew out my hair. So I've actually grown out my hair a couple of times. Um, the first time was in college. I had a perm in high school and then I cut it all off. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture and link it in here. And then most recently, I did like a really short blunt cut. I actually did the Japanese hair straightening treatment in 2017, I don't remember the exact time. And I actually really loved it. You know, I was just into really straight hair at the time and it was nice. It was really expensive. The upkeep was expensive. Um, it was kind of just like a perm. Every time that your roots grow out, you have to get it retouched. And it was like $500 each time that I got it retouched. But I knew I, it wasn't gonna last long and I wanted to get back to my natural curls. So I started growing it out and I would just cut off a little bit out of a time. And then in October of 2018, I decided to just cut it all off and do a really cute haircut. I did a blunt um, shortcut. It was probably up to here. And then the next month I got engaged. Uh, so I was really sad about that because I knew I wanted a short engagement and I really wanted to grow out my hair. So I cut my hair October, 2018, and then I got married in 2019. So that was my second journey of growing out my hair. So today I'm gonna share with you what I did the most recent time that I grew out my hair. So first and foremost, this one is really important. I'm sure you know this and you've heard it a lot, but water. So water is really important when you're growing out your hair. I mean, water is important for a lot of things. Um, so if you do it, you're only gonna benefit from it. But you really have to drink a lot of water. You want your hair to be moisturized on the inside and on the out. So drinking water is really gonna help you. And then on the outside, moisturizing your hair. So water, I think a lot of people actually don't know this, but water itself is actually a really good moisturizer. So um, when I have my hair and it twists out and it's feeling dry or just on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll take a misting bottle and I'll just spray my hair with water a little bit. You're not drenching the hair, you just want to give it a little spray. So I would suggest getting a misting bottle um, so you don't go overboard. Or you can just put your hands under the faucet and wipe them off so it's just a little bit of wet and then go in with your hands on your hair just to moisturize it a little bit. And then you want to lock that in with a lightweight oil or a leave-in conditioner or something like that. But let's talk about healthy hair. Your main goal should be healthy hair too. With healthy hair, length is gonna come. So in order to have healthy hair, you really need to keep it moisturized. So moisture is so important. I know growing up, I thought that water was the enemy and you know, um, the minute, of course, because you had a perm, so the minute water touched your hair, you're like, no, my hair is gonna puff up and oh, the water is the enemy. But it's really not. Water is so important. So drink your water, moisturize your hair with water, and you'll be good to go. I also thought that the longer that I went without washing my hair when I was younger, the better it was gonna be for my hair because I wasn't using water and water was gonna dry out my hair, but it's 
far from the truth. It's actually the complete opposite. You don't want to go too long without washing your hair because you need a clean scalp. Your scalp needs to be clean in order for it to grow. So that's another mistake that I used to make when I was younger. I thought the longer I waited to wash my hair, the better. It's going to be so good. I'm not drying it out. I'm not putting water, but that's not the case. So make sure you cleanse your scalp and wash your hair. Next, you want to have a regimen. You want to have a routine and you want to stick with it. Consistency is going to be key in growing out your hair. You're not going to see results overnight but it's really important to keep at it. So whatever your routine is, just make sure you stick with it and then you'll see results. Also, deep conditioning. So I actually have a separate video on this. Um, I can link it in the description box. Deep conditioning is so important when trying to grow out your hair. It's really gonna help keep your hair moisturized. I'm not gonna go too into it because like I said before, I do have a separate video on that, but make sure you deep condition your hair. Another thing that you can do is rice water rinses. It's said to make your hair smooth and shiny and to help it grow. Um, what you do is you take a cup of uncooked rice and then you put some water into a jar or container, whatever you want, and you let it sit for at least 24 hours. Um, that way you're fermenting the rice. It's really fermented rice water. So the longer you let it sit, the nastier it's gonna smell. It's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I usually let it sit for 24 hours. And then you wanna take the water and then put it on your scalp, put it on your hair. And then I take a plastic cap and I let it sit for like 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and then do my regular shampoo and conditioner routine. So that's another good moisturizer. I did that about once a month when I was growing out my hair. Another alternative, because I told my aunt to do this and she just couldn't bring herself to throw out the rice after letting it ferment and i was like no you i don't know if you do that whatever float your boat but i couldn't bring myself to use that rice because it just smells so bad so she didn't want to waste the rice after letting it sit for a little bit so i started researching some um rice water rinses that you can actually just buy I came across this one by heritage by mindy mcknight I love her. She also has a YouTube channel, Cute Girls Hairstyles. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I did pick it up and I'm so excited to try it out. So I think I'm going to do a separate video um, and review this. But rice water rinses, try them out. So another thing that I did when I was growing out my hair, I actually took these biotin vitamins um, and the 5000 MCG. This is said to promote hair growth. Um, and I felt like it also made my hair thicker when I was using it. You want to take it once a day with a lot of water um, and you want to take it with food. I know I was reading some reviews when I was looking it up before I took it that some people were having an upset stomach, but I felt like they weren't drinking enough water. So you really want to drink a lot of water and you want to take this with food. And it says it may help support healthy hair and skin and nails. I definitely did see a difference in my hair, so I would recommend trying it. Also want to sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase or a mouchoir. Don't sleep on cotton pillowcases or, you know, your regular pillowcase. That's going to be more damaging and drying to your hair. Um, so if you haven't already, switch all your pillowcases to a silk or a satin one. Your hair is going to think it really sucks out the moisture so you don't want to do that and you also don't want to um, use regular towels when you're washing your hair you can use a regular white t-shirt or you can use a microfiber towel i personally use the um turby twist it's like five bucks that's same thing with the pillowcases the regular towels are, are just too drying on your hair it's gonna suck out all the moisture that you work so hard putting in so try to switch to a microfiber towel or a white t-shirt and don't go crazy you know wiping your hair don't aggressively rub your hair because that's gonna cause friction and breakage and damage and all that nasty stuff you don't want that <laughs> this one is really important i used to be guilty of doing this when i was younger and i had a perm do not hold on to dead ends just don't do it <laughs> i know it could be tempting when you're trying to grow out your hair and then you see all this length and you're like no but i want my hair to be so long if your ends are splitting and nasty and thin it doesn't even look nice I'm telling you, it doesn't look nice. I know, I know how hard it is. I used to do that too. But please, don't hold on to those ends. You have to get rid of those ends. You wanna start off with you know, healthy care. So the first thing actually I would recommend is getting a trim. Start off fresh, start off healthy. I don't have a specific time frame that I get my trims. I normally can tell um, when my hair starts shedding a lot. 
I know it's time for a trim for me or if I just look at the ends and they start looking you know I wish I would have taken a picture of what my hair looked like before but um, I'll get up so you can see you see how it's all thick at the bottom that way you know I don't need a trim but when your hair starts looking like um, like if it's like imagine I had like a whole bunch of hair here and it was like all thinned out at the ends that's another way to know that you're gonna need a trim so you really, really need to keep up with your trims. Pay attention to your hair, listen to your hair, get trims when you need it. And then another thing that I did when I was growing out my hair was I actually used heat. I know this goes against what some people believe, but um, I do feel that you can use heat and still grow out your hair. Now, obviously you don't wanna use it excessively. Anything that you do excessively is not gonna be good for your hair. But I personally was able to grow out my hair and use heat once a week. So I would say heat is not the enemy. I can't tell you how much heat is gonna be good for your hair because everybody's hair is different. So I can't tell you that. But just know that you can grow out your hair with using heat. What that means for you, you're gonna have to try to figure that out, whether that means once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, you know, see what works for you. So a quick recap on the things that I mentioned in this video on how I grew out my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna go in the same order that I did in the video, but here's a quick recap. Water, drinking water, putting water on your hair, moisturizing your hair with water, 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 water. Keeping it moisturized with water, a leave-in conditioner, a lightweight oil, whatever you prefer, but water is always gonna be your base. Having a routine and sticking to it. Deep conditioning, and like I said before, I'll put a link in the description box of the video that I did solely on how to deep condition, how to maximize your results when deep conditioning. Making sure your scalp is cleansed, um, so not going too long in between washes, keeping your scalp clean. Taking a biotin supplement, Sleeping on a satin or silk pillowcase or with a satin or silk mouchoir. Not holding on to those dead ends. Keeping up with your trims. And using heat on your hair in moderation. So that's it guys. Those are all the things that I did to grow up my hair. I hope you guys try it out. I have a few more fun videos coming up for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get notified when I post new videos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Um, that way it can help this channel reach more people and hopefully help them out. Before I forget, a few people were asking about my lip colors in my video, so I'm going to try to start saying them. So the combination that I'm doing today is this little lip pen by Bite Beauty. It's called Glass. Looks like this, kind of looks like a little crayon. I can put the name in the description box. So I do that first, and then I go in with a cork lip liner by MAC. This is my trusty lip liner. I love this lip liner so much. I feel like it's every black girl's best friend. <laughs> you can actually stop there, but I lightened it a little bit. Um, this one, sorry, it's not gonna help you. It's, it's also by Bite Beauty. I did the create your own lipstick. It's actually pretty cool. I would suggest trying it out. If you have a lip lab next to you, um, you get to sit there and make your own lipstick, your own shade. So I would definitely recommend doing that experience if you're into makeup. I'll show you um, what it looks like on its own. So you can see this one's the Bite Beauty. It's a little bit darker. And then this one is my perfect nude. And for the heck of it, I'll just do the pencil too. So you see all of them together. This is what I'm wearing, everything mixed together. So that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.